I'm telling you, during the eclipse time, don't cook food and eat, uh, you know, keep it and then eat, don't do that. Eat before or after. The nature of life is like this. Depends how sensitive you are, accordingly, that profound is your perception and experience of life. This will not come through intellectual accumulation. Those who read a high school textbook, if they think they are scientists, What can I say? Because uh, a genuine scientist, a scientist who has probed into any aspect of life, into any aspect of life with certain profoundness, will not speak like this <laughs> Now, as a yogi, I… As far as possible, I will never consume anything which is cooked, which is more than an hour and a half old. Why we are serving the food the way we are serving in the ashram is uh, hoping that all of you will graduate from being yoga pract practitioners to yogis. <laughs> Not just bending and twisting, you are beginning to feel the union in the existence. If this has to happen, body has to be sensitive and it has to have a minimum level of inertia. Now, if you eat food which in some way has deteriorated, it may not be rotten. <laughs> Nor is it going to kill you, you can eat it <laughs> It is just that it will lower your perception. In my experience of life, for me, lowered perception is death, at least death of the yogi. The man may live, <laughs> the yogi is dead because he's lost his perception, he's lost his sensitivity. So, the death of sensitivity, if it doesn't matter to you, there's really no problem. You can eat what you want, you can eat garbage and still survive. While people are eating food that was cooked a week ago, ten days ago, three months ago, they're keeping it in their refrigerators and eating. After eating it, they don't know what's the difference. To such people, what can you say <laughs> But for sure, they cannot have the sensitivity that I'm talking about. And I'm sure they're sleeping eight to ten hours a day. That is death for me <laughs> Ten hours of sleep, nearly forty percent death, isn't it, <laughs> in twenty-four hours. So, if you wish to live like that, you can eat whatever you want. What is the problem? You can eat anything you want. Well, I am not a scientist either, and I don't wish to be one. I don't have either books to read, nor am I researching <laughs> anything, nor am I looking through a microscope, nor do I have a lab in my backyard. I just pay attention to this human mechanism, which is me. I kept it well, takes a lot of work, takes a lot of work to keep this well. 
doesn't just come. So I keep it in a certain way and at anything that happens in nature, I observe what's happening with me and I'm speaking that. I'm also observing the life around me for confirmation. Every insect, worm, bird, animal, tree is saying the same thing. Well, if you are going to discover this after many years and a few billion dollars of research, it's up to you. Well, I want to tell you, till recently, these so-called scientists, the real science is different. A scientist who's looked at something with profoundness will not speak this way. These are uh, probably internet scientists, <laughs> you know. You think night means just absence of light or there is a phenomenal change in the very way the life happens from day to night? You ask every insect, bird, animal, tree, even the rock, it knows night is different. If you sit here with little openness, you will know it's not just about light. If you close your eyes, even in the daytime there's no light, in the night also there's no light. But is there no difference? Every meditator knows what's the difference, isn't it? So somebody will say, this is all rubbish, <laughs> there's just absence of sunlight, that's it. That's what they're saying about the eclipse. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm telling you, during the eclipse time, don't cook food and eat, uh, you know, keep it and then eat, don't do that. Eat before or after, because this is life sense, this is not internet science. The greatest ignorance is knowing that you're not ignorant, that's the whole problem. All the internet scientists, I please request you, eat some fresh food. <laughs> Keep yourself healthy, well, perceptive, not to me, to life. Eat during the eclipse if you wish, hmm? You won't die. Inertia will build up. If you don't mind the inertia, anyway you're drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes, doing things, maybe it won't make any difference for you, possibly it doesn't. If you take a high-end car today and go and pump gasoline in any of the Indian gas stations, which is uh, 87 octane, your car will stop within a few kilometers. You need to buy special gas and put it into it. Why? Because it's high performance. So if you want to be high performance, what kind of fuel goes into you, you look at it carefully. You are a junk machine. <laughs> Eat whatever, drink whatever, what does it matter anyway? <laughs> Live whichever way you want, there's really no problem, okay? So, if you are disappointed that you did not die by eating during the eclipse <laughs> I'm sorry, you're superstitious, hmm? And <laughs> The nature of life here is such that the earth, the sun and the moon have significant impact on this life. If you are conscious of its ways, you can ride this and make your life effortless and easy. If you are not conscious, these same cycles could crush you and everything you will struggle with and uh, you will suffer enormous prejudice within you. <laughs>